All right, guys, this is T-Res Fitness. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know who I am, you will know after you follow my journey. I mean, the time when I put up the second video, the first one had 50,000 views. Now, that's a lot of views. But now when I check in, I see it has 300,000 views. That's a quarter million more. So you guys really put pressure on me and you can expect one video a week starting from now. Sure. And I guess What's up, guys? Thousand subscribers. The pro that you the many hood. Oh, I believe it's nervous. I have some good news and I have some bad news. The bad news is I'm fat again. But the good news is I'm fat again, which means that you will be able to see exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it in order to get to the six pack. And that's why I'm gonna call these series Road to Six Pack. But before you start thinking that you're gonna do exactly as I'm doing things in order to get there, I want you to think about the fitness journey as a roadmap and the six pack as a destination that most people want to arrive to. But because some people have been doing fitness related stuff for a long period of time, some haven't, some have been doing sports. We, ha we all have different body types, different genetics. We all have different starting points on that roadmap. So the road for me to get to the six pack isn't necessarily the same for you. It is the 1st of March today, which means my cut starts, and it's been four months ever since I saw my six pack, all right? Now, I, when I look down, all I can see is a press pack. Now, um, during these four months, I met some people and they said, hey, did you really quit the gym? What happened to you? And I never really quit the gym. I actually didn't skip a gym day, but I skipped my diet and I just let go. Two try a little? Three sets, three sets. Oh, so many. Oh, 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 here for wetting her. Yeah, that's a road type. That's the most of the time. Man, that's a catastrophe. Man, I'm breed. During these four months, I was able to get myself sweet kebab, pizza, hamburgers, again, hamburgers, sushi. Because of this, I've been able to make great strength gains. Before, I used to work out in the dumbbells on the chest with 25, 27 kilos. Now I can even go up to the 40s. Easy. 150 grams of protein, 100 grams of carbs, 70 grams of fat, and I'm gonna use a method called intermittent fasting. You can Google it up. I don't wanna sit here talk around about things that you can just look up and spend all of your time listening to my boring voice. You know, I'm still trying to get accustomed talking to this camera all by myself in this room, imagining that there's actually people behind this camera listening. So it's actually kind of awkward for me to no, I'm just kidding. If it fit your macros is also a method I'm gonna use for the first two uh, weeks. And you guys may ask me what motivates me, what drives me to do this. Why am I gonna wake up starting from now, every day, go into the gym with the mindset that I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna go into the gym and be so exhausted that I don't want to do anything after that. I just want to go home, get my meal and go to sleep. That's how exhausted I'm looking to be after I go out of the gym. This is how I'm going to kill myself. Starting today, every day, every week, every month for four months. What is it that makes me want to do this? For me, it isn't so much about looks. It isn't so much about health. I can't base you know, my motivation off of other people's opinion of me. What the next person thinks of me isn't necessarily the same as the previous one. Somebody will be saying, yeah, you lost a lot of weight. You look great now, halfway. But I know that I can push further. So why would I stop at that person's opinion? And somebody will say, you know, yeah, you're getting too big now. You should quit gymming. That isn't nearly, that isn't, a solid foundation to build your motivation from. I think there are three things that you need. We have all heard this before. Three things that you need in order to achieve whatever you're looking to achieve. It's motivation, dedication, and consistency. You need something that drives you to do it. And dedication, you need to actually do something about it. You have to dedicate yourself 
to your goal. And consistency, you have to continue doing it over a long period of time, only then will you be able to see the results. But let's start from motivation. What drives you to do something? And um, for me, it isn't so much about what, you know, because in four months after I continue doing this, yes, I have, I will have a better looking body. I will have a six pack. I know this because I've done it before. But why am I doing this? A lot of people, they get stuck on what they want to get, but they don't think about why they want to get it. And this is something that I had to think, think a really long time before it could drive me forward. You know, everybody knows what they want, but why do you want it? If you know why, if you have the reason, then you have the key that unlocks the door to the path that is going to take you down the road to your goal. Now, you can tell I've watched a lot of motivational YouTube videos. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm throwing out big words here. What I'm trying to say is when you find the reason why you should do something, it is much easier to, to devote yourself to it because you know why you're doing it. If you don't have a purpose, it's not going to feel ful fulfilling. If you ask me why am I doing it, it's because when I look into the mirror and I see the reflection of myself, I see an image that isn't the best version of myself. I know that all of the times that I grab that candy bar that I chose to go and get some burgers instead of cook a healthy meal for myself, I didn't do the best choice for me. So that means I know I can do better. 24 hours in a day, 16 hours which you're awake, and I'm not applying these hours at my best. I'm not doing it. I know I'm not doing it. So why not just do it? Because there is no real excuse to why I should skip the gym. So whenever I look into that reflection, I want to see the best version of myself. That is the only purpose why I'm doing this. I know because in four months, that will be the me that I am proud of looking at and I'll be happy. That is the person I look up to, the four months of me. That is the person I will look up to. Things that I got myself before I started this cut was an MP3 player because you don't want to bring around your phone, huge ass smartphone, and uh, it's going to distract you with phone calls and texts. Also, a pair of headphones because without music, it's going to be super boring, especially, or at least for me. Um, a food scale, you have to weigh your food. If you're not in control of the situation and if you're not in control of the process, you can't control the results. Random planning gives forward to random results. All right, guys, that's it for the first video from Road to Six Pack. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's informative. And uh, let me know if there is anything that I can improve, if you have any feedback, um, because this is the first time I do a video as such on YouTube. So I don't know how this works. You know, if you want to see something else, if there is something that you want to know about, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you have a fitness challenge, there was one guy, uh, the last video that said eating is the hardest part of, of that, of the fitness journey. So that's why I decided to do the 10K challenge. It's coming up. Not now, but I'm going to put it out because I failed. You know, failing is a part of the process, but it's not coming out right now. I, I decided to dedicate myself to this because it's more important for for the, for the channel, you know, what I'm actually doing to get the six pack. That's what you guys want to know. So, you know, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see daily updates and uh, go and like my T-Res fitness page. There you can ask me questions, I'll be able to instant reply to them as fast as I possibly can, rather than putting out a video. Peace.